everyone to another fun P3 live stream. As you see, if you're already running for quite some minutes. And actually, this is this kind of episodes that I mostly only do to document here all the uh, time spent on this, because otherwise I could also go home now and enjoy the evening. But um, to document this shortly, uh, your latest T2 for you to play along at home, because, well, basically they also see how much time everything takes to just get all the stuff working and um, all the extra time because it was working for me. Obviously, previously here with, with all the stuff we've done and um, that uh, getting everything working again on the fresh install because previously I was working off of my over one decade old install. But I also hope yes, it took so long to get live because this is our P3 obviously, right? And um, yes, yeah, so this is the latest install now with accelerated, well, not yet fully accelerated, but at least that is our driver here that we want to get working again because the problem is I had this issue already with my decade old installation that I noticed that on the latest Xorg that wasn't really entirely super stable for some reason. So yeah, need to get all of this working. So this took another couple of hours because that's what we do here. And uh, yeah, now looking pretty good. Um, not yet running fully accelerated, but I just wanted to document here. Um, yeah, took me a while. So the issue is it didn't even come up, come at, come up at all. And then also fun stuff like this uh, amazing hardware cursor that we previously implemented here. Hardware cursor meaning the hardware overlays as per my FPGA videos. Meaning otherwise um, X, Xorg would draw it with pixels, which is of course super slow. Um, and this is also flicker free as you see here. Um, the changes are relatively minimal. This is also, yeah, this is right now not accelerated because now yeah, also probably maybe I should actually log in there and do I even have a log in? Sometimes I have, sometimes I haven't. And um, yeah, also this was another probably honestly over two hours here of work in case you were wondering how long does all this stuff take here. Let's just uh, secure shell log in here for the sharper text, which for which we can also fire up a cool retro terminal here for the best views. Um, yeah, 125. That is it. Let's just type in a password that would be that and then root. And then we can capture this here for your improved viewing pleasure. If you are into Sony and stuff, also previous video of today, fun Sony mini disc thing. And um, yeah, just to show you just a couple of lines also, then always the people like my embedded customers always, how can this be that expensive here? Yeah, just takes a couple of hours figuring out the stuff that was previously working. Uh, also, I took the extra efforts. I spared you no know, effort yesterday already, took an extra hour or two. And you see, I don't even live stream each uh, one random stuff here. Um, we have here this working tree, this working branch. Uh, also, hey, zero frames, that is amazing. Also, it's loading super slow because this original code here that I forked off of the original developers a decade ago that has already some more. 3D like acceleration or 3D like, well, using the 3D 3D part for 2D blitting that ne I never could yet get that to work. Anyway, another day um, because it is relying on previous security vulnerabilities. We have now more access, but we need to adapt all the code and actually understand it anyway. So we have a working branch here now that is all of this latest and greatest Xorg API and auto gen, auto configure stuff from um, Ritz, uh, Ritz kit. Um, sending this in here, amazing. Also, yeah, P3, don't mind this Unicode gibberish here. I didn't bother 
set up the UTF-8 locale on the P3 that is uh, committing this from the P3. Anyway, so hardware cursor and um, how many people have 16 people, that is amazing. So long story short, we have now a working branch with all the stuff here that I obviously needed to uh, build this here uh, live on. Also not faking this, this is the freaking real big cell with more memory than you most likely will ever have at home here. And um, so let's take a look on the changes, uh, documenting this here for you. Also, a uh, small little shout out, you all are all a little bit lazy, I have to say, you all could have done this actually. So um, if you were wondering why all this stuff takes so much time here, yeah. working on all the details, low memory, installation T2, and then some cross compile stuff and some new system calls, all the previous videos, there's always something, you build something, the files are not archived because new uh, rename it and other fun system calls and then another day and another weekend. Anyway, so this, the changes are as usual relatively minor and you all could have done this at home. So much to playing along at home. Recurring shout out here. And yes, while at it, of course, I shamelessly update the copyright to imprint my name all over the place on all the hours spent. Um, the actual bug, so the actual bug was only one line of code that is, uh, where is it even? Um, uh, um, is the actual li uh, line of code is actually an initialization order. And yeah, so that is removing this code here. So the actual issue was, is um, that also starting with because right now I'm not, I've not even touched uh, the, the acceleration yet again. Um, also, this is a little bit dark, I have to say. Let's up the ISO, whatever. Um, initialization order. So this MAP was failing. Um, so maybe um, I previously run this as 64-bit code. So maybe this with the old Xorg server only worked accidentally. Um, because after too many hours of probably two hours of debugging here, I figured because I had here stealing this memory for the hardware cursor um, and subtracting this. So we need to subtract this from the 256 megabyte of memory for the RSX because otherwise we tell, we pass this value to Xorg for the infrastructure of graphic stuff um, of the, that, that is the Xorg graphic windowing server. And if we pass the whole size to XR, the, the, the new enhanced X acceleration architecture stuff, it would use this memory, meaning it would like happily allocate this for like a window, like our X term or the background of the desktop or something. And it would override and override meaning, uh, AKA usually IT people call this clobbering of um, clobbering our precious cursor memory. So I, sub I stole, I subtracted this cursor of 32 memory for the cursor. And um, only, so this must have accidentally worked, uh, maybe running 64-bit, not really sure. So maybe the Linux file, I've not debugged this further. It took already two hours of figuring this out. So what, how I fixed this, um, so only after two hours of this totally annoying debugging, um, I simply moved this code. So because this is the, the startup code here of CPU, of GPU get, get info, and directly in the startup code, I've stolen this memory and subtracted it before we uh, mapped the resources of memory mapping, asking the kernel nicely of memory mapping us as resources. And um, yeah, so the, the symptom was I didn't have a cursor, um, certainly not an amazing start not to have a cursor. Um, I fixed this by simply moving this after the resource allocation. So this is why delete here, and adding here just a little bit later of stealing this. This is after just moving the code. Also here, yeah, two hours of IT professional debugging this stuff, um, just moving three lines or two lines of code and a comment, um, just to document here how expensive IT development stuff is. By the way, fun fact, I probably um, messed up the white spaces. Let's, uh, that was here and that is in. And again, all of you have, could have done this if people will soon complain, but you promised us make this great again. First of all, I made it great again. I, I didn't over promise. I only promised a year ago, make, make it great again. It is already great. Just that you guys are always asking for more. I never said 3D acceleration. So 
Um, I'm already doing more than um, that. So steal, let's steal here uh, like other fine people. So also it's so much to copy and pasting here on terminals with some white space damage. Yeah, now this is greater again. Um, while doing that accidentally, like by a pure chance, I discovered that the transparent cursors were not working. Transparent meaning here with fine alpha. Here's a, the more fancy um, RGB with transparency. I probably didn't even test this or yeah, probably in my old installation I didn't even had test for that. Yes, I'm already. Hello, can we also? Um, problem is with this lens flaring. I don't have. Why does this not? On what is it even focusing? Hello? Ah, come on. Autofocus. This is why we were running without autofocus already because autofocus in 2020. Um, yeah, so as uh, a fancy new, so in back in the day of all my vintage videos, back in the day we only had one bit black and white or at least some color, uh, user defined Ramda color. Um, true transparent cursors only came later since uh, mid 2000s or early 2000s, like uh, Reaver or G GeForce and, and uh, Radeon stuff. Uh, Matrox, maybe Matrox, like. G200, G400, plus minus, give a couple of years. Anyway, uh, by pure ch chance debugging around there, I noticed um, this uh, RGB cursors wouldn't wouldn't work. Um, actually, well, they would work, but they would they would paint by the Xox server with software fallback, so it would flicker horrible and waste. And yeah, I documented this on the Octane previous video, hardware cursor, when we did this already on the Octane. Just moving a software cursor, on such kind of architectures already consumed 10% CPU loads, uh, 32 by 32 transparent pixels. Also on the, well, on the SGI, obviously, because the SGI Octane only had, well, only and only <laughs> two dual 250 megahertz. But on the P3, it also consumed 11% CPU because, I said this before, the various bus interfaces are so different and reading memory from the RSX is super slow, so that is something like 10 megabyte, like super, super slow. You never want to read from the P3 RSX frame buffer. So this is why this was so freaking slow, 11% for reading the memory back. Anyway, uh, this was also similar to what we've previously found, initialization order. And um, that is, uh, what do we even show you? Um, that was uh, also initialization order, something I didn't test. So this was just here, this alpha cursor. Uh, this took another, uh, not, not as long as this other memory map to debug. So yeah, this alpha cursor probably always was broken in my P3 code, probably never, accidentally never tested that. Um, this is just here setting actually. So this later will be a uh, configuration option. I have here already if, uh, if one hardware cursor. So theoretically we could wire this to some Hardware cursor option, I've not yet done this because YOLO or whatever, we want the freaking features and yeah. But another day for 30 minutes we could write their fancy stuff. So the issue is that our NV cursor that we copied from Nuevo and Nuevo code there from Xorg, um, I forced this to one, but I overlooked that this uh, was not only used in um, the code path for PS3 cursor here for uh, actually probably um, returning, yeah, so transform cursor stuff. So this was, I overlooked that this was not only used here and whether to actually load it and stuff, but also here in the initialization. So here's if, this is if the XOR cursor supports this, so like if the XOR server is newer than a decade, um, 14, 15 years in the meantime. So yeah, but this is also, I, I overlooked this so much to here. Yeah, if you don't test it, then most likely there's something broken, initialization order or anything of that sort. And while at it, uh, so you basically got three changes um, for the price of one, which probably you want to share, like, and subscribe this video for to motivate me for the whopping income, YouTube income of $3 a day. Um, that uh, one other thing I noticed, it's probably a little bit unnecessary that we have this volatile, volatile meaning that the compiler doesn't cache this at all in registers or each, each write is instant and 
no read is cached. Um, this is not really needed for our cursor. This is needed for stuff like the control registers, previous video, all the memory mapped stuff of also our vintage stuff, previous video, even if you're not in P3, also Verge Voodoo, all the fun stuff we've done. Um, by the way, I hope the audio is fine. But probably nobody complained. Um, what do you mean with cursor bug? Josie writes, so the cursor bug is finally fixed. Um, not really sure what is. I actually thought it was working. Not really sure what you mean. Not really sure what you mean with finally fixed because for me it was working. So I didn't even know it was broken, but I'm not really sure what. Anyway, um, ah, and then, um, so yeah, this volatile, it's just some optimization. So this theoretically allows the compiler to generate slightly better code because it's the uh, cursor stuff is not, it's just VRAM, just video memory, and the compiler is, in my in my opinion, can optimize the heck out of it. And maybe that saves, saves a nanosecond of, of something. While at it, of course, I um, deleted here some, some temp stuff. Um, and yeah, also we, we got some warning here, this including this XF86 PCI info uh, resulted in some warning of deprecated header stuff and we didn't even use it. So yeah, deleted that while it, so usually theoretically we could make this, maybe it's slightly better style of committing this in three commits, but honestly, and in, in this it's like probably YOLO, I'm not that, um, git commit nazi is Linus Torvalds. So for me, this is YOLO, whatever. So yeah, this initialization order there, this initialization order there. Um, it, I fixed a little bit of white spacing. Notice it probably is a little bit off there. It looked a little bit off formatted. Ah, and then uh, even then when the, the alpha cursor was working, it looked strange. And first I thought, yeah, whatever. I relatively like first guess, like this, I probably copied this straight from Novo there. Um, so yeah, it's just not not really sure on the GeForce hardware why whether whether the RSX can do non pre multiply. So pre multiply is with the alpha values whether for alpha blending the RGB values are already pre multiplied with the alpha. A tiny little optimization. I'm not really sure if the non P3 non non Sony RSX if you can configure this. Uh, but whatever, so just changing this one. So yeah, a couple of three independent stuff fix, like that it works at all for 32-bit, um, and that um, it uh, maybe the other maybe the 64-bit kernel used like huge pages, like one megabyte or whatever, and the 32. I, I have no idea why why it worked, but but whatever. Um, happy that it works. So uh, works with new Xbox server. Um, works with 32-bit compatibility stuff. Why do we run 32-bit? We certainly run a 64-bit kernel, but 32-bit tiny little higher performance most likely. We don't have more memory anyway, and um, it allows for slightly better memory use, less memory use, uh, smaller pointer sizes, 32-bit pointers pointing to memory than 64-bit, and so less memory, tiny little bit memory used and a little bit better cache utilization. Certainly everything nice to have. And so yeah, making a little bit progress. Next, I need to check. Um, right now, I run this here with acceleration disabled because I didn't want to debug something else. But um, it's it's nice enough uh, anyway. Uh, here, so another day, maybe tomorrow. Probably fun fact: tomorrow I have yeah weekend. You see, I'm a little bit overworked here. I also need to do some administrative stuff. Maybe tomorrow I try to use the RS uh, the RSX the PS3. As a thin client to get my work done because with this state of an X server it probably should work quite well. Um, and see also your yeah, uptime. I didn't reboot until my last RSX hang for two hours uptime, so much to that. Um, even restarted the Xbox server a couple of times. Um, yeah, so theoretically we could start play some games. Certainly tomorrow I try to thin client that because why not? And um, also need to check acceleration. Probably I find a couple of other bugs, um, initialization, optimization, XORG interface, you name it, uh, when I try to use acceleration. Um, but that's uh, something for another day. I'm already happy enough with that. So let's, long story short, only need to document this here for your entertainment and my $3 a day when already nobody wants to, well, not nobody, but when already few people want to watch this. Sony mini disc. So yeah, that probably looks good. Um, I guess did I also video? Do I have here some 
copyright stuff. What, we don't have a copyright on the video thing? Why is that? Um, probably we want that though. Can never have enough copyright headers when you're already... Uh, who is the author of that? Probably, I guess the same as that. I guess, probably, not really sure. Let's copy there. Something, oh, something is better than nothing. I touched this already last year and this year, so yeah, that's what you get when you donate your time on this fun stuff. And uh, yeah, stuff is coming along nicely. I've certainly never was uh, in a better state than now. Just that a few people send patches and I need to invest each weekend. Just takes a little while. So, um, yeah, good at in subversion it would just commit really wondering why I need to target like oops, at the stuff, but whatever, I guess. So what have we done? Uh, fixed a uh, couple of initialization order box steel cursor so yeah i slightly wonder why this coloring is like this is it yeah bizarre whatever fixed a couple of order box steel also not stream what am i even writing here steel also steel best with t steel cursor vram after and map the resources. I really wonder what is up with the freaking Vim coloring. I just want a bloody freaking text editor. And all I got is this bloody um, color gibberish. Anyway, mapping the resources. Um, similarly set. Similarly set. Uh, alpha cursor before uh, exa, is it cursor? Not even sure. P3 video, not video cursor. Is this exa or NV cursor init of? Oh no, this is not exa, this is in general. That before. Calling, oops, oh. bloody mouse supports that I don't want. So yeah, freaking cursor theme for 100. If you know why this cursor color is or whatever. Uh, I usually, uh, back in, for decades I used NVI. Didn't need any of this Fencher feature, fan fancy VI improved stuff, but whatever. 2020 VI improved and all you get is random color garbage. Fix a couple of initialization order bugs. Actually, can make a column there because why not? Um, actually, can also make this enumeration. Steel cursor VRAM after resources. Similarly, set uh, before calling that and um, removed some stray temp nodes and use. What is it even error? I think error f instead. Print f. This is all. Let's see. Git diff. No, oh, darn. Now it doesn't git diff anymore. What? Oh, I hate diff. It's just, it's just, it's skip a gif. Git is so stupid. It's hilarious. Why does it not show me the gif now anymore? It's hilarious. Um, or does it already git log? Does it has this already? This kit is confusing. I really wonder who can officially uh, can. Um, yeah, Git is more a hate than a love relationship. I really wonder. It's it's uh, my opinion version versioning system from hell. What what do I know? Um, Three temp nodes and use error if instead of printf. Uh, oh, and also and also fixed um, function whatever. Go for it. Good luck. So that looks probably somewhat okayish. Um, we can probably check this probably with 
get diff that way. No, we don't. Oh, Git is such an annoying rating system. Waste of time, in my opinion. But whatever. So let's see what have we done. This is all for cursor. All right, I forgot to mention something. Um, git mint. Um, what was this? Was it not mint? You need to Google how many dot frames here. Zero dot frames looks like either people don't watch less TV now or uh, Vodafone cable access stuff got the act together. Git amend, what was it? Amend commit message. Did I not run git? It's not a git command. What? Always true. Ah, come on. Ah, commit amend. Ah. Yeah, that works. Um, fix um, remove stray uh, include whatever. I mean, it's also a little over documentation, but whatever. But just like yeah, writing proper commit message also adds a couple of minutes to your time. Remove superfluous or Lead inclusion of our fixed warning by uh, Now all of this is a little bit different tense, removed, steer, what, whatever. English grammar is for you. So let's see, git um, log, uh, yeah, whatever. Git uh, push then to GitHub for you to play along at home. So yeah, then that is online for you to play along at home. Also, the feeling anyway, not the most people, but yeah, documenting here live all the yeah fun stuff. More people probably watch this IT PS3 Xorg Linux live stream than my mini disk player previous video battery rework. But that's live of a YouTuber. You think it's an amazing battery rework video, and few people watch it anyway. That's it for today. So um, yeah, getting this together again. Um, Certainly, yeah. Um, leave in the comments below what you like and dislike, what you want to see. Also, I know it already in Nintendo 64 emulator stuff and whatnot, but that is for you to play along at home. I only do other stuff. So yeah, uh, thanks for asking how we're doing. We're doing quite fine. How are you all you doing? Hope you all are healthy. Um, Carlos is a little bit lost about how study Linux DRM came as getting some PF shaders and folder picking study. Yeah, the problem is this kind of Linux low level stuff is probably oftentimes a little bit underdeveloped. So a lot of study is yeah with, with not the most documentation and presentation and books of this kind of stuff probably read the source, which is also why I do this, not only P3, which also Fun fact, I only did this because I had this in the basement and, and thought, hey, does it still work? Nobody else is doing this. Um, and um, yeah, I didn't expect that this P3 community stuff blows up like this, like everyone sharing for each bit V uh, forward progress here. Um, so yeah, this is also why I did the other low level video like Verge and Voodoo. If you're into this sort of stuff, you probably want to watch this. And in general, this is 600 or so videos of us already. You can also, if you're bored and want to work, learn something or sit at home in self-isolation, go all back to all the 600 videos, take a look what interests you and learn something of Verge Voodoo programming. I do this Verge Voodoo stuff uh, also to document all of this, how it's done, because otherwise very few people in books, um, yeah, maybe whatever, but um, 
Yeah, otherwise it's only a handful of hundreds of people in the world doing low-level drivers and graphic driver stuff. So um, between the commit message itself and the header, or should I? Uh, fun, thanks for that note. But yeah, let's see what Vim does then. Does, uh, and then, um, uh, commit. Let's see. Ah, that indeed fixes it. Thanks for that. Tip. Um, um, yeah. Probably now it does. Does it actually? Uh, let me check if this. Uh, maybe it will complain that. It, this tree is yeah, fair to push. Do I show you my password? Probably not. Um, yeah, so uh, reject it because your current branch is behind. Um, so yeah, force you probably also should probably do this at home. Um, if you work with other people, then they might be a little bit angry when their stuff is out of sync. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for that fun little color episode. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. Um, so next is uh, other stuff. Yeah, the problem is also I would really like to encourage you to uh, play along at home and send in some patches because um, I have a little bit of other 100 to-do items, including writing microkernel and other fun stuff, so can't do all of the P3 RSX stuff alone. But thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon for the next videos and live streams to come. Thank you.